Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the sea. We're back. And, uh, yeah, today, and we finally have our farming station. That's right. Um, so, uh, we're back to do a little bit more, a few more things. Um, so last episode, we activated the elven portal and, uh, got a bunch of stuff from in there. Some more, ma some mana steel and some pixie dust, um. And, yeah, just been, uh, doing, uh, we did that, um, made a splice, slice and splice, um, after a little bit of, uh, nerfing around and me being a complete noob and forgetting why I needed, uh, elementium to begin with. But, yeah, we made the, uh, made the slice and splice and then built the farming station, which we are going to set up today. Um, so, Yeah. It's nice. It's very nice. Got all that done. We are pushing our way forwards, little by little. Um, so, uh, in between episodes, I haven't done very much. Um, I have done a little bit, as you can see in here. Um, I have uh, kind of, sort of, developed a little bit of uh, an area for which I plan to have my uh, farm. Um, uh, so you can see over here I have moved the um, the actually additions farm over here into a small little plot in the wall. Um, I might expand this later or not, but I decided to keep this growing canola um, because it works just as well, um, and it means that I can use my uh, my farming station to do other things in here, which is the plan. Um, so we are going to set up the farming station. Um, I've kind of just been waiting for this canola to finish growing. Um, we've got a lot of canola seeds now. Um, but yeah, I've been waiting for the canola to grow, um, but I think we might just break a bunch of it. Um, and then we also have this industrial hemp um, that we can use as well. Uh, so I'm thinking, because... so. Uh, let's get this down. So I have set this down to get a look at it. So um, I do have a little bit of power in it too. So we need a hoe and an axe um, in order to actually do farming in this. Um, it is losing power for some reason. Um, not sure exactly why, but it is. I figured we can just set it up like this. To do. And then link those. And now it can get power, uh, but this currently does not have power, so I'm gonna have to adjust that. But yeah, I figured um, I might even actually move the other oil generator into here, and then we can just use the uh, oil generators to power um, all these machines, uh, and then just run this completely as a standalone system. So um, how this works? Uh, it's got quadrants: uh, southwest, southeast, northwest, and northeast. Um, so you can lock and unlock them, and I believe you just put the seeds in here, and then it will plant them. So, like, let's see. We got the north and west, so let's go with, uh, southwest. If I put these in southwest, then what should happen is, once we give it power, is it should plant these seeds over here, but we need to get it a hoe and an axe before that happens. And then I think we'll also put the industrial hemp um, southeast. Yeah, we'll put industrial hemp in the southeast quadrant. So I don't know exactly how big these quadrants are. Um, uh, always active, config, uh, IO settings. Yeah, this is just for stuff like this. Um, I'm probably going to need item conduits or something to transfer items out. I actually didn't think about that with the setup, but I actually can fix that pretty easily. We can make a wooden storage crate for now um, and do it that way. Actually, we can make two, and we can have an in and an out. And I think that will work. Um, so let's make a couple wooden storage crates there. All right, and then we need to make a hoe and an axe. So uh, we could just do a regular old iron one. I've got some uranium in there, which I think is probably going to be uh, good for now. Um, I've got 
a stone hoe, so we'll get rid of the stone hoe. I don't need that anymore. Uh, uranium we'll just set in there for now. Uh, and then let's make an iron axe. One, two, three, because we get loads of iron. And iron's a good material to make an axe out of. So, now, I don't know exactly how this thing works. Um, I have a basic idea, and ideas don't always turn out how I think they should. Um, especially for me. So, we'll see how this goes. So, I go ahead and put you and you in there. Um, they actually went into the wrong place. There we go. Um, put the canola in there. You can put seeds in there. Uh, this one's full, which is fine. Um, let's get some power into here. Um, and then I want to put these down. So we'll put one down on the north, one down on the south. And I want it to lock those in place. Unlock seed. Lock, lock. Uh, configure. So um, I want this to pull. And I want this to push. So this will put, this will pull. And I'm hoping that this will work. So I pulled those in. That's good. So now I'm hoping this is going to plant stuff. It should. I plan to maybe turn one of these quadrants into trees eventually after this finishes. Ooh, cherry. Mine. Yes, our cherry tree is growing and producing more cherries, which is nice. Which is what I wanted for putting that cherry tree here. Are you actually working or are you not? I have no idea if this is actually working or not. Oh, it doesn't have any power. Does it really not get enough? It, it's like not getting enough power at all with this. It's kind of a problem. Um, let me quickly grab the other canola generator and see if we can't hook this, hook these up to go a little bit faster. Um, now I do have these here to power these, but we'll break this anyway and take it. I can set some other stuff up. Um, what do I have in here? Can I use medium instead of, uh, we'll just use low for now. Get another one of those, and actually let's grab a relay. Uh, that means we'll have to have another light, low, low voltage wire. Can I use medium for this? We're going to find out. Three, one, two, three. And don't want that. Alright, let's see if this will work. Alright, so we put you... We'll just stick you right there. Um, I want to break that. So we'll have one of these... Um, uh, I don't have a light, a medium a relay. So hopefully... I can use these uh, medium voltage and nothing will explode. So, we'll find out. We shall find out. I need a relay. I don't need that. Don't need those. As long as this works, which I'm hoping. So we'll plug both of these up to a relay. So, put the relay there. Grab these. So, one to there. One to there. One to there. Ooh, and it, uh, the hose is actually working. Nice. Um, now, I do want to break grass because I want to put concrete in the crisscross around here. Um, we'll just break these. Alright. So there's that. So now, you're cooking. You're done. You stopped. One, two. Uh... One, two, one, two. Were you running something that wasn't canola oil? What's in those other things? I thought it was canola oil, is it not? It's oil, oil composite. Oh, it's just oil. Okay, it's not seed oil. Oh, I did not know that. Oops. Oh well. Um, 
All right. Dog meat. All right. Uh, there. Again, really. Just come up this way. I really need to just put a door in. All right. So you have planted your uh, seeds, which is nice. Um, and I think, yep, you've planted that one, which is very nice. All right. It looks like we are uh, working. Nice. Break that. Make some more canola oil. So it does look like this does constantly use power. Um, so we will have to be making a lot of power. So I think if I get a fluid duct, um, put it between, we can just stick one of these on and we can just have these constantly run and have that work. All right, nice. So, and I think I can put a tree farm into one of these quadrants. Um, I'll just have to, I just want to dig this out a little bit more if we do. So is that the edge? That Yep, that is far enough. So we'll break these. One, two. And then if I just put you there, and then I can just go and grab some saplings and specify the north east quadrant for um, trees, then that should work. So let's harvest some wood. Harvest some wood, get some saplings. There are a lot of monsters, like, right behind this wall over here. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But it won't be my problem for too much longer. All right. So we get this automated farm set up to give us wood, um, which we can then turn into charcoal, which we can then use for an infinite power source, and we've basically won the game. All right. So now uh, I want northeast, and I want to lock it. So, yep, there are some saplings. Um, I want to break the really red ones because those are uh, completed. Those will give me my cherries that I want. And I'm not sure what to do about with the third quadrant. All right, we got another hill cherry sapling, which is another thing I wanted out of this tree, which is good. So I'm not sure what to do on this um, on this third or this fourth uh, quadrant. So we'll let the canola finish growing there. Um, we've got a farm over here that is producing more of it, which is good. Um, so we'll have more seed oil for our farm. And yeah, it'll just require swapping stuff over. So I can, I could turn this off and on, which I think I'm going to activate with signal. So now it won't use up it won't just drain my RF constantly. Um, I can wait for stuff to start growing and then produce more, which is good. I'll take it. Um, just adjusting my seat a little bit, pay no mind to the squeaky chair. And yeah, we got loads of canola seeds. Um, we got a good amount of seed oil, canola oil produced. Um, we've got uh, our automated farm set up. So now, um, there is something that I was interested in doing possibly before we end the series. Um, and that would be uh, at least saying that I can have mostly completed one of these quest lines. Um, that's this first one. So there's these food quests, which I'm not too concerned about. I might just go through and do them off camera. Um, some of them's got a few things done, but most of them I just need stuff for making a jelly donut we have grapes oh you know what that's what i can put in that third one i can put grapes in that third one that would be a good thing um but yeah besides that i kind of wanted to do this end quest um which requires a lot of ender pearls and there's a good way to get ender pearls um i remember uh a way an easier way to get ender pearls from killing endermen since we have these spooky dolls that we can spawn endermen in with um we can use dark. We can make a dark steel uh, sword. So, if I go to Ender, Ender IO, 
um, there is this, the Ender, this Ender Blade, out of Dark Steel um, that gives a higher drop for Ender Pearls. So increased skull and Ender Pearl drop. So I think making this would help out quite a bit. So we need Obsidian, Coal Powder, and Iron. Now, I don't remember. I think I was making Dark Steel at one point. I think I made some, but I don't remember what I did with it. So we're just going to have a quick uh, walk around. I am getting hungry, so I think we'll put down our last cake and eat that. Um, carrot cake. Nom, 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 nom. I'll take the grape seed so I can put that in place. Um, I don't see the dark steel anywhere. So it looks like I did not actually make the dark steel. That's fine. That's not a problem. Um, put you down. The hill cherry goes in there. Uh, and then the cherry and the wheat can go away. So, um, we need to make some dark steel. So we need some coal powder, some iron. We need two coal powder, we need two iron, and we need two obsidian. Um, and then we can make two dark steel, we can make the ender, and that will help us with killing endermen. Now, I think I had some coal powder in here. I do. And we have, um, we have... Obsidian right down here. So come down here, grab a couple of those. Thank you. Then we come on up and we throw these into the uh, furnace. And then we can put upgrades on this too, which we might uh, do. So I know putting capacity, uh, a vibrant crystal plus four levels gives it empowered. Um, so we can put, we can give it empowered stuff, um, we can put Traveler on it. There's a whole bunch of different upgrades that you can put on this thing. Um, let's see. I think one of them is if we use a, we use capacitors. If we put a basic capacitor on it, I think that increases the RF. Um... Enderman can't teleport once hit. Enderman extra damage. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different things that we could put on this. But, um... I need to... I, I don't remember what half of them are. I know... I'm pretty sure putting a basic capacitor on there is a good thing. So, I think we'll make a basic capacitor since we can. They're easy. Um... And, yeah, I'm not going to be too worried about having to max it out its power at least not um right now maybe uh off camera i'll figure out exactly what i needed and set and do that but that's not something i'm going to worry about right now all right if i could only put the right things in there's a basic capacitor for us so i can should be able to put that on uh, i believe i will need a anvil an anvil which i don't think i have any an anvils anvils um if I do, it probably would put it down here. No, it looks like I do not have an anvil in this world. Um, it's easy to make. One, two, three, and then four iron. We'll just throw one together real quick. Um, there we go. So we got an anvil. I may have had one somewhere else, but I don't remember. So we got a new one. All right, uh, you can just sit right there for now. So our dark steel should be all done. Yep, two dark steel. So now we come over, we make the ender, um, we add a, a capacitor onto it. Done. So let's see. If I put you there and add the capacitor, it does not do anything. Oh well. Um, we need empowered vibrant crystal plus four level levels. Do, can I make a vibrant crystal really fast? Um, Vibrant Crystal is Vibrant Alloy Nuggets and Emeralds. Vibrant Alloy Nuggets are Ender Pearl and Electrical Alloy. Electrical Alloy, Gold. I think we can make that. I think we can make uh, one of those. So let's see if we can do that real quick. Um, actually, I should probably just do it off camera because we're coming up to the end of the episode, guys. Uh, unfortunately, so... Uh, we made the ender, we set up the farm, um, I'm going to enhance, uh, this sword a little bit, um, so that it can hold, I don't think, I don't know if it, I don't think it can have any power right now, it doesn't look like it, um, but by putting the vibrant crystal on it, I think then I can add the, uh, 
capacitor to upgrade that. But yeah, I'll get the uh, get the sword upgraded a little bit, kill some Endermen, get some Ender Pearls, and uh, next episode I kind of I want to if I can get enough Ender Pearls, do that. Um, I'm th not sure. I'm still not sure exactly when I want to end this series. I think soon. I think in the next couple of episodes we'll have a final. Um, but yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see me do before the final episode, please let me know, and I might prolong the series a little bit. Uh, we'll see. And yeah, um, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Maybe I'll just go to one of these a week for a little bit. I don't know. I have to figure all that stuff out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode here before I ramble even longer. Um, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Till then, guys, bye-bye.